Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Hamilton Life. And as you can see, we have some beautiful, gently used boots that have been given a second life. And here to talk to us about uh, the boots, the process, it is Evan McDonald from Trash Queen Boots. Evan, nice to see you today. Nice welcome. Nice to see you too. Thank you. This is awfully exciting. Uh, again, gently used uh, cowboy boots. You're giving them that second life. What gave you this inspiration? Well, you know, I try to be mindful with how I contribute to waste in the world, and the fashion industry is one of the largest pollutants out there. Mm -hmm. They are the second largest consumer of water and produce more CO2 than the aviation and shipping industries combined. And 85% of textiles produced are actually um, used as waste after uh, within that year. So there's definitely a problem, mm -hmm. and one of the solutions to the problem is upcycling. So upcycling is when you get an item give it a new lease on life so it kind of avoids being used as waste and four pounds of co2 are actually saved for one pound of textiles that is not uh, wasted so you're, you're doing a little bit of fashion you're helping save our environment mm -hmm. and the climate change and, and of course you have a passion for this too you, you have a bit of an artistic flair take us through what is required Evan to start the process in getting a boot to look like one of these beautiful babies. Absolutely. So first I just have to sort uh, source them. So that would be at a thrift store or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, next, I'd kind of uh, take a look at the quality of the boot. So this pair is pretty good. There are some minor scuffs. You can use a uh, sealant to kind of cover up any of those flaws. And then I will um, prep it with an acetone-like product, mm -hmm. which just kind of removes that first layer of wax to really let the paint um, be absorbed by the leather. And of course you, you give it a, a wipe and all that as well at yeah, some point, right? Exactly. Yes. Okay. And then um, we'll start with kind of finding some inspiration. So we're going to do a pair today that's inspired by Valentine's Day with the season of love approaching. A little love. Dolly Parton. I don't know if we can get any of that there, Mike. Dolly Parton was a big fan of pink and, and all that stuff yeah. there. And it, so when you get your inspiration, it can mm -hmm. be anything and everything, right? Definitely, yeah. yeah. A cool. lot of uh, Pinterest is helpful, but yes. it could be anything. Right now, I'm kind of most inspired by this like funky mirror yep. here, so okay. that's what we're going to do. Take us through it. How do we get Perfect. started here, Evan? So the first step I'll have you do is get the uh, one of the paintbrushes okay. and dip it in the light pink. Light pink? Yeah, and put it D wherever you like on the boot. Get it a little heavy, I guess, yeah, on there? Yeah, sure. And when, when we're doing this, and I'm just going to start on the outside here. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, when we're, we're doing this, and I don't know if, if Michael can get a nice shot on that or whoever is, you kind of, it's almost like painting in the lines again. It's like I'm back in kindergarten, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like paint by numbers almost. Pretty simple. As you can tell, you know, it takes a lot of coats in order for it to look really bright and vibrant. So it can be a bit of a tedious process but definitely worth it so uh, y y you're right I can feel this as well y you know it's it's it you can't rush this you yeah. have to take your time you have to take your time so when you're doing this whether it be in your room or if you have a little studio whatever your setup is do you, do you got some music in the background normally yeah going, definitely or? have some music could be doing this while watching TV I think a lot of us like to multitask so this is a, a way where I'm not necessarily looking at my phone all day Oh, so. I like that. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're trying to sell it or get some inspiration. Yes. That's Sometimes right. Sometimes you need to use your phone. So I, I am just kind of going around a little bit here just to give everyone an idea. It's actually, you know what? It, it's quite fun doing this. Yeah, it's really it's really satisfying watching, especially with the lines of cowboy boots. You know, they're already very detailed, so it's pretty easy to kind of just fill in the blanks really with some bright colors. So as I, I'm kind of just doing the pink, I'll, I'll get to this last little area here. Tough to keep on the inside, and now you're suggesting I, I grab some red maybe? Yeah, exactly. So next you'll grab a brush and dip it in the red, and we'll go in the lines this time. So would you normally do a, a, a boot, a whole boot, let it dry, and then go back and do it a second, maybe a third time if required? Definitely. It probably requires at least three, if not maybe up to five coats, um, depending on the paint as well. As you can see, the red is a bit more kind of watery than the pink because um, it has less of that white pigment, so that would require even more coats. Yeah, it doesn't want to absorb as much, mm -hmm. I I'm finding. So now I'm, I'm not doing as good with the red here. No, you're doing a great job. See, if anything, I'm much more messy than, than you are. Oh, so okay. Well, maybe you need to get into this business. You want to work together? You and <laughs> sure, I? Sure, we can collaborate. Trash Queen Boots and Mike. <laughs> there we go. 
Uh, <laughs> but yes, so again, you would you would go through this, you would do the second boot, and then when you get to the outside, like you got some beautiful puffy paint here. Yeah. Do you put on all those little beads and all that afterwards? Yeah, let everything dry, and yep. then I'll use this three-dimensional puffy paint to make it look like they've got some, you know, rhinestones or something, some extra detail. And then the last step is to use this acrylic finisher here, which um, makes everything weatherproof so you can ultimately wear it um, for as long as you like. And the thing that you had mentioned to me just before we came back here, as I'm continuing on this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, you can just talk while I'm doing this. Yeah. Uh, you were also saying, you know, the, the boots over time, maybe they start to get a little worn and all that, bring them back to you and you'll give them a fresh paint and maybe a whole new look. Yeah, absolutely. So I definitely encourage anyone that wants to get a custom pair to bring them back when they kind of want something new and we can continue to keep these boots out of the landfills. We can change the color. We can really update it and give it a facelift or just touch it up as well. And it's it's not just boots that you do. You do venture out into other products I understand. Yeah definitely so I've done ornaments, coasters, hats, purses, even um, stockings as you can see behind us so really whatever I can find I will make or paint. And folks I have to say you know we're, we're doing this on camera and I'm really taking my time here I don't know if the camera really does these boots justice these are beautiful they are bright uh, I love the sparkle ones that kind of reminds <laughs> me of Barbie over there um, for the sake of time mm -hmm. I've painted all of these. What does the final product look? Let's see how good I did here. So this oh, is what you made. Look at that masterpiece that I did. <laughs> Folks, this is this is something that you are now going to want to display, wear proudly. Mm -hmm. Again, country concerts, uh, yep. just going out. Just for a special occasion, whatever, just for something fun. Just whatever is fun. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Where can people find you? They can find me on Instagram at Trash Queen Boots, um, also on Depop and Etsy. Etsy, Depop, great stuff. Mm -hmm. And for people that are watching, they're like, oh, this is kind of cool. Where do you pick up some of your product here? Yeah, the um, Art Collective in Toronto has a really great variety of colors mm -hmm. of this leather paint, but really any um, art store usually carries that paint. And uh, I know I heard you briefly talking to our last guest, Sherry, as she was walking out. A little bit of a, a relationship there, I understand, kind of working out of some same areas. The fashion industry here in Hamilton, creative uh, hubs and all that you can, you can work from too. Yeah, absolutely. There's a great ecosystem in Hamilton and the Hamilton area of artists making amazing pieces. So really great to meet people at markets, art shows, and really just on Instagram. It's It's been really great. She is Evan McDonald. I'm Mike Fortune. These are the boots. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Hamilton Life. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Val, we're thinking of you. Next week, I won't be here. Lohifa Pogus and Acker, she'll be standing right here in the hot spot along with a number of wonderful guests. So make sure to tune in to Hamilton in life next week right here on cable 14 it's been a lot of fun we're going to continue painting some boots <laughs>